Falgunanda Lingdel, a reformer of the ancient Kirati culture and civilization who is committed to the upliftment and protection of his caste, language, religion, culture and tradition, advocate of women's equality, ultimate follower of non-violence, preacher of skills and education, and Mahaguru of Kirati religion, was born in Ilam, Eastern Nepal on 25th Kartik, 1942 Bikram Sambat, in a poor Limbu family. His father is Jaganbaz Lingdel and mother Hangsamati Lingdel. Falgunanda's childhood name was Nardos Lindel, a name given by an astrologer. But his family name is Falgunanda. Nardos Lingdel was born as third child, did not receive care and support during his childhood. As soon as he was born, his mother became ill and he was raised on goat's milk. After some time, his mother passed away and he grew up under the care of his stepmother. Falgunanda, who was sick as a child, had iron bangles attached to his hands due to the traditional superstition that the disease would be cured. Iron means Falam in Nepali language. His name became Falam Singh because of the iron bangles tied on that hand. Falam Singh's childhood was spent herding cows and goats and roaming the forest, rivers and mountains. Falgunanda was a quiet, solitary, low-talking nature in his childhood. Over time, like all other youths of the village, he also joined the British Army and his name changed from Falam Singh to Falgunanda. As the financial condition of the family was very poor, in order to earn money at a young age, Falgunanda in 1960 became Sambat, reached Natung Dawa, the border between India and Tibet, and started working as a porter. His elder brother was a constable in a Gorkha regiment. When he went to Burma to visit his brother at the age of 22, in 1964 Bikram Sambat, he joined the Gorkhali army and became Lahuri. After some time, in 1971 Bikram Sambat, World War I started. He joined the British army during World War I and served for 8 years. He was not satisfied with army's life because of his religious inclination. After serving for 8 years, he gave up his job. He was called by nickname like Dhyani, Yogi and Tapasvi as he was absorbed in prayer in the evening and morning even while he was in the army. Falgunanda, a soldier with religious tendencies, believed that world peace could not be established through war. After the First World War, he resigned from the army and came to India via Bhutan, spreading his knowledge and the original religious culture of all the Kirati people. He travelled all over India and returned to Ilam, Nepal. After that, Palgunanda, who entered into religious work, saw the dire situation of his village, caste and especially the Limbu community of the Kirati caste, which was riddled with social disharmony and deformity. On 24th Baisak 1988 Bikram Sambat, the senior members of the then Das Limuwan Satratum society was called by him to live Rekuti near Fidim in Panchatar district and discussed the issue of being ignorant in the name of religion, being demented due to heavy consumption of alcohol, etc. In the discussion, he asked to immediately stop the practice of Sunoli Rupauli, practice in the Limbu caste, the practice of taking rice from the daughter-in-law, to stop the practice of killing chicken, pork and goats, drinking alcohol during final rites, to stop the practice of killing innocent animals in the name of gods and goddesses and to offer them with flowers. He also gave messages about equal treatment of male and female. It was established as Satya Dharma Muchulka. This work is considered as the biggest social and cultural revolution. To adopt a simple life, to have high thoughts, to be religious, moral is the essence of Satya Hangma Dharma. Always speak the truth act truthfully, do not steal, show kindness to all creatures, do not do violence to creature is the basic philosophy of Satyahangma Dharma. Falgunanda built seven manghams or temples at different places in Mechi and Kosi region for the purpose of preaching religion or to perform Mang Seva of Yuma Sammang in his house in the evening and morning and also for Mang Seva in community gathering. He considered the Kumbhakarna mountain as a sacred religious pilgrimage site for the Kirati and built a him there as well. From time to time, 
Falgunanda used to visit every village in the Limbuwan region, making his own observation. At the same time, he used to reach Kumbhakarna mountain with his disciples, where he remained observed in meditation for months. Falgunanda traveled from Assam to Bhutan during his religious preaching and work to improve the religious and social condition there. In Satyadharma Mochulka, important social and cultural aspects of social reform are included, such as not taking sotri or money when marrying daughters, not killing animals while worshipping God, reducing alcohol and meat consumption, and performing dead rites in three days. Around 1993 Bikram Sabbat, about 600 Limbus filed a complaint with Rana Prime Minister against his preaching. That is why he was called to Kathmandu and after being found innocent, he was freed. He opened a school and taught in the Kirat language and script and established a rule to eat alcohol, pork and chicken only during festivals. He taught to speak the truth, do good deeds, do devotional service and meditation, should not go astray by forgetting originality, should not become delusional by drinking alcohol and committing criminal activities, should not fall into the financial crisis by spending more than the financial strength on marriage because Yuma Sammang, the mother of the society is a woman he prays that women should be given a high position of respect in the society apart from this he gave sermons such as following the Kirat scripture Mundum he is called Muhigum Ang Simang in Kirat language Falgunanda who emphasized on the fundamental identity and protection of Kirat religion and culture said that meat and alcohol should not be consumed in the Kirat community. Fruits should be used instead of meat during birth, marriage and death rituals. Property and money should not be taken in the name of marriage rituals. He campaigned for social reforms such to use of indigenous cloth, introduction of syringa script, etc. Mahaguru Falgunanda remained a lifelong celibate. Mahaguru Falgunanda used to dress up in the woman's clothes and ornaments. Falgunanda, who speaks less, has a soft voice, eats vegetarian food, always walks, shares knowledge, and lives the simple life all his life. Mahaguru Falgunanda continued till the last days of his life for the upliftment and protection of Kirat religion for the sake of language, script, culture, respect, education, and social reform. Mahaguru Falgunanda of Limbu, who was celibate for life, died on 22nd Chaik, 2005 Bikram Sambat at the age of 63 when he performed Omkar three times in Mankami Silauti, a temple built by himself. Today, he is immortal in the history as the national hero of Nepal. He was declared as a national hero on 16th Mangsir, 2066 Bikram Sambat. Kaura sleepers, Mahaguru's here. Tweezers, trishuls, and kurmis used by him are still preserved in Manghims of Mahaguru's time. Because Mahaguru Falgunanda guided Kirat Dharma Darshan, which was scattered and directionless, Mahaguru became Kirat Dharma Darshan. He became a great social reformer because he set up Satya Dharma Muchulka to remove the distortion prevalent in the society at that time and took the initiative to follow it. Thank you.